Hello, I'm Abid Patel. I'm a Google Certified Trainer and Innovator from London in the United Kingdom. Today, I'm going to provide an answer for those of you that need help because you have too many notifications, which relates to communication in Google Classroom. I will share tips for workflow best practice, including how you can use the settings panel in Google Classroom to control all of your notifications. I'll show you how you can toggle the notifications for individual features of Google Classroom, how you can turn off all notifications for a particular class, or even turning off all Google Classroom notifications for those times when you need to step back and take a well-deserved break. Finally, I'll show you how you can use the to review section to find an overview of all work that you have set for all of your classes. A great time to choose your notification settings is when you start to use Google Classroom, but you can do this at any time. To change your settings, we'll start by clicking on the burger menu in the top left hand corner and then clicking on settings right at the bottom of the menu. This will take us to the main Google Classroom settings page. In the second section, you'll find the option for notifications. You can see that all of the notifications for the sub options are also turned on by default. If we take a look right at the bottom where it says class notifications, we can expand this section and turn off notifications for individual classes. When you are added as a teacher or a student to a class, the class's notifications will automatically be turned on if you allow some notifications. Managing your notifications in Google Classroom is the same whether you are a teacher or a student. Sometimes in a busy stream post, people don't want to receive emails for every time someone else comments. So this might be a reason to switch that option off. Depending on your personal preference, you can choose to turn off all notifications for Google Classroom by turning off the option to receive email notifications at the top. I can now go back to the Google Classroom homepage by clicking on the burger menu again and selecting classes. Just as students can use the to-do section, teachers can also use the to review section to track work that is due or check for completed work that needs feedback or grading. You'll find all of the classes that you are a teacher for in this section. You can also filter specific classes using the option at the top. You can also control notifications from the Google Classroom app on your smartphone. Similar to Classroom on the web, in the app, tap on the burger menu, then settings, and then notifications. Just like the web, you can choose to turn on or off individual notifications, or you can turn off all email notifications at the top. You can also choose to turn off notifications from the Google Classroom app on your device by tapping the enabled option next to device notifications. This will take you to your smartphone's notification settings, where you can choose to turn off notifications. Now we know what to do when we might be feeling overwhelmed with too many notifications from Google Classroom. We learned that the settings panel can give us granular control on what notifications we want to receive or turn them off altogether. Don't forget to watch some of the other great videos in the Google Classroom video series. Thanks for watching.